Hey guys, Nick from Income Digs here. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we are going to be diving into the Podio for Project Management app package. All right, so this app package is pre built with a ton of awesome workflows and a ton of cool functionality to help you manage your rehab projects, uh, your construction, your project management, communications, all of that stuff. So we're going to be diving into that. Specifically, what we're going to be talking about is prepping for a project and using one of the cool templates that we provide for you to do it a little bit faster. All right. And so as we get in here, what we have is a project, uh, 123 Main Street, that we haven't started yet. We haven't built out any deliverables yet. All right. So if we're just working in Podio, <clears throat> we can go to our deliverables tab and start adding deliverables. We could also use one of our pre built templates. Okay. Now, the templates that live in Podio were cool. We're going to have a separate video on how those work. But a lot of the times, it's a unique project, something we're starting off on. It's a really good idea to start your planning to build out your deliverables in a quicker way using the deliverables import template. What this is, it's a Google Sheet that we provide to you when you purchase the rehab pack. And this allows you to really quickly get your initial scope of work done. A lot of us can work a lot faster in an Excel type format. And then what we can do is when we're ready with this, we'll import it to Podio. All right. Now, this works really nicely, but we had, we had a question come through from somebody who had purchased the pack said, you know what, we want to use the import template and we want to be able to see kind of at a high level what all the budgets are before we import. We also want to train our project managers to really think about all the stages of a project so that they don't forget anything. How can we potentially do that? And so that's what this video is gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how we started in my business to make sure we didn't have any holes when we did a rehab, okay? So what we have here on the import is a completely blank scope of work. So it'd be really easy for me to start adding deliverables here, but it'd also be really easy for me to forget stuff, all right, for things to fall through the cracks. So what I'd advise you to do and what I advised to this client was used your scope categories. So when you get set up on your rehab project management setup, you're going to create your scope categories. Now we will provide this list to you uh, included. You could choose to use this, but you might choose to customize it a little bit. This is the way that I manage my projects. We have a stage, a phase, and then a scope category. Stage one, then one A, one B, one C, and then within that are all these scope categories. And these go in order, you know, stage one through six, of how we would do a project. And now in a typical project, you're not going to use all of these, you know, that'd be rare. Okay. But what's a good idea is to assume you are put them in your scope template and force your project manager or yourself to think about all of them and, and to consciously say we don't need to use this budget. And let me show you what I mean. Alright, so right now we have this completely blank deliverable setup. So what I'd like you to do is use your scope categories before you start going here and say like okay demo and then framing and then rough plumbing all that stuff okay you could do that but again things can fall through the cracks use your scope categories so let's go to our scope categories let's click and let's select all of these so 142 of them I think all right and then go to the import and then for the deliverable just go ahead and edit paste special values now the scope category of course is going to be the same exact thing all right so this is kind of assuming that we're going to have to do all this stuff on this project. <clears throat> uh, let's go through and indicate what project it is and uh, copy that down, double click and it'll pop down. Up, oh, <laughs> it goes to one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. So the numbers, but you just pull it down. Okay, um, go ahead and indicate the type. Now the reason you have to do this is that when we import, we want Podio to understand. So everything's going to default to incomplete. Now we can start filling in our material quantities, our labor quantities, etc. What this will do if we start here, it forces your project manager to go in this order and think about all these things. Now if they are not applicable, well, okay, he can delete them. Or we can just, we can put in zeros, right? You know, so I don't need a plumbing permit, I don't need an electric permit. Let's say I need a structural permit. There's one of those, and let's assume that's going to cost me 150 bucks. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start getting this baseline cost. Okay. You can indicate for all these deliverables too whether we're going to include the contingency, which is a 5% on this project, um, and, and get all that sorted out as well. So, demo crew. 
All right, so here, let's say I need a dumpster. So let's go one each at 550. And then labor, let's say it's internal labor. In my labor quantity, let's say I got 16 hours and I got maybe two guys, one at 20 bucks an hour, one at 25 bucks an hour. So let's say $45 an hour. All right, so my budget for demo is currently 1270. Um, and if I include my 5% contingency, we'll add that on as well. All right, so this allows us to start building out the scope ahead of time. And your project manager is going to be forced to think about all these things before either putting in zeros or putting in actual numbers. Okay, so I'm going to go take a minute and I'm going to fill in a bunch of this stuff. And I'm going to meet you back. I'm going to show you the next part, which is cool. We're going to talk about pivot tables. All right. All right, so I filled out a bunch of my budgets. Not all of them. This is not a complete. Uh, set up yet. But what I'm going to tell you about now is pivot tables. So um, Google Sheets has gotten so good over the past few years and they keep getting better and to the point where I don't really ever use Excel much anymore at all because Google Sheets can pretty much do it all. So the uh, latest thing that they've been doing is improving their pivot table. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, now go ahead and grab all of your data. All right, start in the upper right uh, left corner then scroll down and grab everything, even the blanks, doesn't really matter. All right. And we're going to go to data and we're going to go to pivot table and you can see updated because they just made it new. All right, this is an awesome way to start viewing your project data before putting it into Podio. We're going to start adding some rows <clears throat> and a natural place to start is on our scope stage. Okay, click that and it starts going in. Here we have stage one, two, three, four, five, six. And then maybe we want to add our phase as well. You can see that it's starting to take shape. Okay, we see here's kind of the order we're going to go in for our project, right? And then where the real magic happens is in the values, we start bringing in the baseline cost. All right, so this shows us before we even import into Podio, we can work with our team and say, all right, this is going to be our initial scope. What do we have for all of these stages and phases, all right? We can also um, add a filter if we don't want to include anything that has a zero. We can go ahead and do that, and it'll make it nice and neat for us. Okay, But if we include the zeros, what's nice about including the zeros is, again, it forces us to think through all this stuff. All right, like We got zero budgets for all this. Does that make sense? Are we not doing any siding? We need to go and make sure that budget's filled in. This is an awesome way to force yourself and your project manager to think about projects and budgets before you get started. All right, so this pivot table is great. Now, I just brought the baseline cost in. You could bring in to the values, you can bring in your material cost, and you can just click and drag them. Let's bring in the labor cost. Let's bring in the other cost. And then you can see, oops, you can see all of these, and just like in uh, the other sheets, you can you know adjust the column widths. And you can see here's the labor cost, material cost, other cost, and then your total. All right, isn't that awesome? So Google Sheets has done a great job with this, and let's again um, filter out, get rid of my zeros. Nice compact. Here's my total budget for this project. And then once you do this and you collaborate on this. Then you can import this into your Podio setup, which is super easy. This, this template is made for our project management setup, so this will import nicely in. Now, um, you might want to eliminate those things that are blank. That's probably what I would do. So again, let's show you how to do that. Go ahead and pop a filter onto this. And you can just grab, you know, grab anything that is blank and just delete it before you import, and then it won't go in. You don't have to worry about um, like ruining things <laughs> or anything. We can keep copying um, this tab and using it again and again. And if you need a new template, if you mess it up for any reason, you can just contact us. We'll get you a new one. Um, and we turn this filter off, and then it just gives us all those things that we want to add. All right. If I import, these are the ones that'll go in. Okay. So check this out now. If you do nothing else, like even if you're not using Podio, I mean, this is a cool template to just help you budget. But where things really get exciting is that once these pop into Podio, we can start managing these tasks, marking them complete, putting them into a calendar, communicating about them, updating the running budget, and then 
the probably the real beauty of it is pulling in the actuals from QuickBooks, which is really cool. All right, so check this out. If you wanna purchase the uh, Podio Project Management app package, let me know, contact me. We're putting it onto the website really, really soon. We're just uh, working on a few kinks. If you have questions about it or wanna see a live demo, happy to do that as well. Just email me over at nick at IncomeDigs.com. All right, thanks uh, for watching and check out all of our resources available at IncomeDigs.com. We'll see you guys next time.